Welcome back friends to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Lids87 here and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Jack and his LD to see how worthy he is of your precious tickets and or gems. Now before I get into it though friends please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and shout outs where shout outs are due to Rem's database material about compendium and tome bear troop. All those wonderful links will be down below in the description. Now on February 11th UTC time, we will be getting Jack's Lost Chapter, The Power of Ignorance, and it is confirmed on this slide that the first multi-draw on this banner will be free, so it's possible you could pick up his gear for free. Now, Jack will be introduced to the global site again on his Lost Chapter with his LD weapon, and this is another spot to pick up Ultimecia's Burst Weapon if you have yet to pick it up. Uh, Synergy is going to be Ignis and Ramza for Jack's Lost Chapter. Let's go ahead and take a look at Jack to see what he's going to be bringing with his LD weapon to the global side of the game. Now, those not familiar with Jack, he is a character from, from Final Fantasy Type-0. He is a red crystal affinity character, and he is mainly a melee type attacking unit. Those already familiar with Jack and would like to skip ahead, there are going to be timestamps down below in the, t in, the, in the time frame, the description, and or comments. Um, anybody else that is not familiar with Jack, I will be recapping what his abilities do. So some things to take into consideration with Jack is, first and foremost, he is not complicated to use. He is one of those, you, you literally press buttons, things happen. The only, I guess, times you would really activate your brain cells is if... Um, you're taking on Lufenia, right? You have to keep that in mind. And when it comes to his turn manipulation shenanigans, when it comes with his deliverance, which we, we're going to talk about deliverance here in a moment. Both of his abilities, they do the same thing in terms of triggering an ability called a deliverance when he attacks a broken target. And both of his initial abilities, uh, Ninja Slice and Lightning Flash, are going to grant him a buff called Every Ounce of Strength. So his Ninja Slice is his first ability. This will deal crit damage if not being targeted. This is a six hit melee single target Brave plus single target HP attack hitting at a 65% Brave potency per Brave hit with the passives. The Brave damage is gonna be increased by 50% and when he is critting, the Brave damage will be further increased by 50%. Now his second ability, Lightning Flash. This is an AOE Brave split HP attack. Brave potency is 45% Brave potency per Brave hit. But luckily, this is saved with the passive, so with the passives, plus 35% brave damage up when he, when he crits, plus 50% brave damage, and if he is attacking a single target, the brave damage is further increased by 60%. Again, that both of these abilities will trigger deliverance when attacking a broken target. What is deliverance? Aside from his abilities, there, there, there's just a few more ways for deliverance to be triggered. Deliverance is a follow-up attack. So the, the triggers are when you are breaking or attacking a broken target with Ninja Slice, Lightning Flash, or his LD ability, Piercing Gleam. His EX ability will not trigger deliverance. And he can also trigger deliverance when he breaks, mind you, all right, when he breaks a target with his upgraded Brave and HP attacks. Now, what deliverance is going to do this is going to Brave Heal Jack by 100% of his attack. This is going to do a 6 hit melee, single target Brave plus HP attack, hitting at a 30% Brave potency per Brave hit. And Jack's next turn gets moved right before the attack target. So almost like Noctis. So if you guys are familiar with Noctis and with his turn manipulation shenanigans, it's the same concept with Jack. So any time Deliverance is triggered, he will move his following turn right before the attack target. So keep that in mind. This could play to your advantage or this could play against you depending on the Lufenia special counter. Every ounce of strength is the buff that he does grant himself with both of his uh, primary abilities. So it's going to be a six turn buff on Jack that, that is going to increase his attack and max rate by 50%. This can be further boosted with his crystal 50 passive by an additional 10% to attack and max rate. While every ounce of strength is active, and with his artifact passes, positive swordsman boost two stars, you can increase attack and max rave even further by 5%, up to 15% total if you have three of these. So ideally, you do want to pick up attack 108 and a positive swordsman boost two stars to further increase Jack's damage. All right, so Jack's additional ability, critical power boost, two uses of this for four turns. This is going to increase Jack's max rave and critical brave damage by 20%. Jack's call action, he's just literally going to do Ninja Slice call. That's it, 
nothing flashy, but ideally you want to use this after his LD call action, and we'll talk about that when we talk about his LD ability. Jax EX ability, Transience. It recharges at a normal recharge speed. This will cancel Soul Harvest, and we'll talk about Soul Harvest here in a moment. He will set his HP to 1. His entire HP will be drained to 1, but he will Brave Heal by 300% of the HP damage that he dealt to himself. He will dump out that all that Brave in a AoE HP attack, followed by an 8-hit melee AoE Brave plus AoE HP attack. Now, hit Transience is going to be hitting for a 50% Brave potency per Brave hit. Passives is going to increase the Brave damage by 25%. And if he is attacking a single target, the Brave damage is further increased by 60%. After using Transience on the following turn, Jack has access to a free ability use, excluding his LD abilities. After using Transience, this will grant him Soul Harvest and 100% Evasion up for one turn. Just Evasion up is one turn. Uh, Soul Harvest is for a few more turns, all right? So, even though he sets his HP to one, he can evade anything coming his way. And he does have the capabilities to heal himself back up with Soul Harvest. Um, just be mindful or careful of bosses that have guaranteed hit, even though he has 100% evasion because he can still die, especially if his HP is set to 1. Some things to note is that at EX plus 2 out of 3 when the quest starts, Jack's EX gauge will automatically be filled to the start, and this will grant him every ounce of strength right off the bat. And also with his EX plus 2 out of 3, he now has what... what um, those in the biz like to call a last stand passive and what that pretty much means is that HP will stay at 1 when Jack is attacked if his HP is above 50% so he can survive lethal damage. Soul Harvest, it is that buff that he grants himself with his EX ability for 3 turns he will heal his own HP by 80% of HP damage dealt with a uh, cap of 35% of max HP. This will also increase his evasion by 60%. So initially, after using his EX ability, he has 160% evasion. But once that one turn, 100% evasion goes away, he still has that 60% evasion. So he could still keep himself out of harm's way. But luckily, again, with his EX ability, he gets a free ability use. And then you can use his EX ability heal up a little bit. He will go right before the target. And at, at that point, you can decide if you want to use his, his abilities again or if you can break a target so he can trigger deliverance go again just to further heal jack back up to safety up at least above the 50 percent hp threshold because of his last stand passive from his ex plus two out of three after maxing out jack's bonus sphere, you will gain access to an eight type bonus sphere when dealing a critical hit the wielder the wielder will increase their brave damage dealt by five percent and increase their attack for three turns by five percent jack's ld ability piercing gleam he has four uses of this. Now, keep in mind um, what you guys are seeing here. The LD boards are already included with the text here, okay? LD boards are already included. Upon using, this will automatically break the target. This is going to do three hit melee single target, single target brave plus HP 50% HP splash. Uh, brave heal himself by 20% of HP damage dealt, followed by a five hit single target melee brave plus HP attack, 50% HP splash and then heal himself again, his Brave, by 20% of HP damage dealt. Now this is gonna, this, his Piercing Gleam actually hits pretty hard. 160% Brave potency per Brave hit. Passives, the Brave damage is further boosted by 30%, and when he crits, the Brave damage is increased by an additional 50%. This will trigger Deliverance when attacking a broken target, and he can also inflict, with his Piercing Gleam, he will inflict, one stack of katana wounds to all the enemies. Now this is where Jack becomes a really good LD user or LD call action unit to add to your team compositions. Katana wounds is a debuff on the target or targets for six turns. It is a stackable debuff. Max stacks is at five. In order to increase the stacks, you the, the stacks will go up by one every time that target is attacked all the way up to five stacks. Now, at max stacks, this will decrease that target's defense by 50% and increase the amount of brave damage taken on that target by 30% when they are broken. This is beautiful because this is carried over to the call action, uh, Piercing Gleam Call. Jack's going to come in, break the target. He's going to do Piercing Gleam and he will inflict one stack of katana wounds for four turns 
But again, my, mind you, he doesn't have to be on the field to increase the stack. Anybody can attack that target and the stacks will go up all the way up to five. Now, remember how I mentioned earlier that you want to save his standard call action? His ninja sl slice call or after the piercing gleam? This is why, because ideally with, with a different character, when you have Jack's call actions, his LD call actions, you're, you're going to want to use piercing gleam call. He's going to come in, inflict a stack of katana wounds. He's going to leave, and then you want to use Ninja Slice Call to just increase the stack to 2. That way your your attacker can just start attacking to further increase the stacks all the way up to 5. So, beautiful debuff because, of course, in the era, in the Lufeni era, uh, enemies having brave damage reduction up to 70% currently. It's going to slow you down in your tracks, especially if you do not have units on your team that can increase your party members brave damage or inflict a debuff that increases the brave damage on that target so if you don't have someone like lightning for example if you don't have someone like sephiroth or even cloud with clouds burst effect just to name a few you're not going to be hitting as hard the fact that this is a call action and anybody can use it for example ultimacia who ultimacia does not have any way to increase or she doesn't get a buff or a debuff to increase the brave damage on the target ultimacia can inflict this anybody can inflict this Pair this up with other forms of brave damage up just to further boost your brave damage up on the enemies. So this is, in my opinion, this is a wonderful, beautiful LD that you guys should not mix out. But we're, we're going to talk about this a little bit further a little bit later in the video. Jack 7 Star Armor is going to be coming with the attack keystone. This is going to increase his own brave damage dealt cap limit by 15% and increase his held brave and HP damage limit cap by 15%. So what I like to say for attacks keystone is if, if you're going to be using that character often in your team composition, then pick up the 7 star armor, especially for Jack. He's an attacker. The more damage you can you can exceed or, or break the cap of, the more damage he's going to dump out on those enemies. Pros about Jack is that he is a non-elemental damage dealer. I love non-elemental damage dealer because you can enhance them with anything, any form of element. And pro the enemy with that same element and that that unit or jack in this case is going to be hitting for a lot harder even if melee is resisted on a certain stage that doesn't matter enhance them and jack can be used on that stage he gets to act back to back whenever he triggers deliverance so he has turn manipulation shenanigans built into his kit he can evade and he has a free ability use after using his ex ability and his ldb ld debuff and it being a call action is probably the biggest pro about jack himself Cons, he can burn through his his abilities rather quickly, especially if you're spamming his abilities because, again, he can act back to back if you're tar attacking a target and he's before that target. So just be very mindful with that. Now, after these, I believe these are more gameplay mechanics and not actual cons about Jack. So just some things to take into consideration as we progress through the Lufeni era is that be careful with guaranteed hits because Jack won't be able to evade those. He will die if he is underneath the 50% HP threshold. Careful with cleansers because they're going to remove Jack's katana wounds. You'll have to burn his LD ability again. Luckily, he does have four uses of this. And if the enemy needs to act in order to increase the special counter, their, uh, their Lufenia counter, be sure to let Jack go after them. Don't do deliverance on that target. Let them act so the special counter can increase. That's if, if it requires some kind of condition where they have to act. If it's a condition where you have to inflict some kind of either melee brave damage or elemental brave damage, that's a whole different story. All right, friends, so just be mindful of these gameplay cons. All right, friends, so now we're at that portion of the video. How worthy are they? How worthy is Jack of your precious tickets and or gems? Jack's LD, it is worthy of your tickets and or gems. Now, might be mindful that there will be a free multi-draw on this banner, so it is possible you could pick up Jack's LD or Ultimacia's Burst Weapon for free. Now, in my opinion, I believe that this is the best Burst Banner to chase Ultimacia's Burst Weapon on if you don't have it yet, just because of what Jack's LD can do for you. Now, Jack... He's a fine melee attacker. Let's so just looking at Jack without his LD, he he's a fine melee attacker. We have plenty of other melee attackers. If you cannot afford Jack, or if you don't want to chase after him, right? We have Machina, we have Arden, we have Zell, just just to name a few units. Now with his with his LD weapon, being able to inflict katana wounds on the target, being able to reduce that target's defense by 50% increased amount of braid damage they receive by 30% is going to allow your units to hit 
harder even if Jack is not on your team and if anybody can equip call actions and of course if you have Jack's LD uh, boards as LD character boards anybody can inflict katana wounds now let me tell you even to this day on the JP side we have a new stage called Lufenia Plus I like to bring Jack as a call action to further boost your character's brave damage. So in term of longevity with Jack's, even just his call action with his Katana Wounds, it is there. Now, of course, yes, you can absolutely bring him on your team compositions. Uh, pair him up with Balthier, pair him up with Lightning, pair him up with Cloud, pair him up with other units that in, uh, increase either HP damage or brave damage to the party and your units are going to be hitting a lot harder is jack necessary is do you a absolutely need him no every character you know is skippable as long as you make up for it in other in other areas with different units but i will tell you guys right now that jack's call action uh, jack's ld ability is a very powerful call action to bring with you on your team compositions because even think about it let's say for example you're on the tail end of a fight okay you have jack's not on your team Get the call action. Let's say you have lightning on there, right? Uh, lightning special effect increases the brave damage dealt by your party members with her burst effect. If the enemy doesn't cleanse themselves, you inflict katana wounds. You just delay that enemy forever or delete their turns. Katana wounds is still on them. You're going to be inflicting so much damage on that target. All right, friends. So enough of me babbling on. I'm just trying to try to get you guys excited for Jack's LD weapon for his LD ability. So at the end of the day, friends, I do believe, in my opinion, that Jack's that Jack and his LD is worthy of your resources if you can afford them. That is it for this video, friends. I want to thank you guys for watching my How Worthy Are They covering Jack. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you guys, what you guys are going to be doing. Me personally, I was originally planning to use tickets, a lot of tickets for Jacks, but the more I think about it, I believe that I am going to be chasing. With gems, again, um, just Jack, even though over the course of time, you know, power creep, it's a thing, it happens, but Jack's call action, LD call action will still be there. It, it, I used it in a lot of compositions on the JP side. Even now, during Lufenia Plus, I still use it. It is there. All right, friends, so I believe I am going to be chasing with gems. So aside from that, again, let me know down below in the comments your own personal plans. And until next time, friends, good luck and have a good one.